Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn and today we are going to discuss a very common topic or rather a very common interview question and that is what is the difference between a normal curve or a long tail distribution and when should we be using average and standard deviation and when should we be using interquartile range. Now in order to answer uh, such simple questions first let understand what is the difference between a normal curve and a long tail distribution? So for example, uh, suppose if I had to uh, represent the heights of my friend, then I would, and if I have to plot a histogram on that, so the x-axis would be the height, say in inches or centimeter, it's up to you, and the y-axis is the number of friends who fall within a certain height, right? So my graph more or less would look something like this more like a Gaussian distribution if you're already familiar with it that means majority of the population are within uh, a certain distance and typically this midpoint is represented by the mean of that uh, calculation so this will be the mean of the height uh, right of all your friends and this will be something like mean minus standard deviation and this would be something like mean plus standard deviation so if you are not familiar with what is standard deviation then just watch the video previous to this one okay in the same playlist and you should be uh, getting a clear explanation of what is standard deviation okay now this is normal curve okay and it was first discovered by a gentleman called Abraham D. Moivir back in 1720 wow that's pretty old <laughs> okay now what is this is normal distribution then what is uh, long tail distribution so if you are representing income and number of people on the y-axis and income on the x-axis say so this is 200 k dollars you will see the graph more or less looks something like this and this is the long tail right this is the long tail and this is zero dollar and this is so you can see majority of the people are well below this maximum value right that's why it is skewed uh, for, from in, towards the left okay and for other things it could another graph could be something like this right if it was of some other data and that could have been right skewed right okay now, given uh, this is the long distribution, so what happens is if you use average and standard deviation on long tail, the calculation doesn't behave properly and you get some bizarre and weird result, right? Because some, it will also give you the standard deviation in negative values, which doesn't make sense because income cannot be negative, right? So uh, that is why average and standard deviation doesn't work properly with long-tailed uh, distribution. Average and standard deviations are used for normal curve or normal distribution and that's why statisticians have came up with the method called interquartile range which is nothing but 75th percentile minus the 25th percentile. And instead of you know, understanding the spread using average or standard deviation, rather they use the percentile concept to understand the spread of the data. So in short, in order to study the spread of different kind of data set, either you can use average and standard deviation or you can use interquartile range. And in, so just to repeat, standard deviation is used for normal curve, normal distribution, and interquartile range typically is used for long uh, tail distribution. Okay, so I hope uh, you have understood the difference between this and I'm very happy to share this with you. And if you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues and please do subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a nice day.